Hello guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel. I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So today I will showing, be showing you how to upload public videos to YouTube. So as you might know, if you are a YouTube Matic user and you use the YouTube Matic plugin to upload videos to YouTube, you might know that YouTube restricted recently new projects from uploading public videos to their platform. And because of this, I will show you how to get past this so you can pass this restriction and you can actually get approved to uploading public videos to youtube so you will need to fill in a form and in this video today i will be going with you uh, step by step on filling it out so if you haven't heard of youtube Amatic, i will link it in this video description also i will link everything that i will be using or showing here in this video description so the form link is also in the description go ahead and check it so let me start by filling out this form so first of all i want to say that um, the name of this form is uh, pretty confusing because they say that it's an audit and quota extension form and they don't say anything about public video rights or uh, public video uploading feature or rights for your API or your project and because of this this can be confusing however I got approved by submitting this form and I got this email recently so hello, hello thank you for working with us and we have marked your API project as compliant and you are now allowed to upload public videos take up to 72 hours for this change to be propagated and so on okay so as i said i filled this form and i got approved and let me show you how to do this so first of all you will need to get a youtube google uh, cloud platform and the youtube access here in the google cloud platform api console so you will need to create a project if you have already a project then it's uh, really great then you can use it if not you can select the project uh, what you need to check is this info so if you go to the home part here you will see this info part with your project name ID and number these are important information to note when filling out this form so you will need this info also uh, it is important to go to marketplace on your new project and be sure that the youtube data api is enabled for you so data api we free and uh, this should be enabled if you see here the button enable click it and uh, you should be good to go afterwards okay so keep in mind this info from here and we can go ahead and fill out our form so here reason for filling this form it's quota extension requests even though it is a bit uh, counterintuitive but it is actually quota extension request because uh, this is an older form from youtube part and they are using it also for the public video rights granting which is a newer restriction restriction because it is live since 2020 and this form is much older however they use it for the uh, public video extension also so click this enter your full legal name so for example Harold Smith organization name if you have a company or an organization it is recommended that you enter its name here uh, otherwise you can go with uh, for your name but if you have an organization it's a big plus and you should enter here the website of your organization I used uh, codevolution.ro and I got approved with it so it is recommended that if you have a company website or an organization website you enter it here because it is a big plus so when they are reviewing uh, these forms and they see that the company name matches the website name 
they have some ease in their minds and they are not checking the rest of the things with such detail as this would not match so i recommend if you have a company and a company website which actually looks uh, decently or good you use it here <coughs> sorry so address of the company you can enter your home address here or your company's address if you have one it is a plus organization contact email address this is recommended that it should be something from your company's uh, domain so don't use yahoo gmail and any other uh, email accounts which are free because uh, when they see here that uh, you have your own email address they uh, yeah actually work better for them so don't forget also to fill in your address here describe your organization's work but it relates to youtube simply uh, fill in something like I want to upload videos to YouTube from my website with the push of a button so something like this I also wrote something like this and they accepted it Email address for Google representative, this can be the same. Content owner ID, this can be left blank. API client information, so please list all your API clients. This can be your website uh, name, so API client is uh, your website name. List all the project numbers used for each of your clients so the project numbers as i told you is this so this is the project number which you wish to get approved for so enter the project number internal use only enter internal use only because publicly accessible api clients are hard to get approved and accepted so use internal use only Please provide details on how API clients access the YouTube data API. I push a button on my website and the respective video is uploaded to YouTube. Okay, where can we find each API client? If you have a YouTube channel, then you should enter the YouTube channel's URL. So in this case, this is what I used. So this is the channel I used and I entered here. So enter your YouTube channel where you wish to upload the videos. If there is a login required to access, I left this blank and eventually write no login not applicable does your api client commercialize youtube data no uh, youtube video uploads is the option for best resembles your api clients use case you will upload videos specify all youtube api services used by your api client you will use only the data api select the primary audience for your api client you are uh, targeting only viewers approximately how many users use your api client one how your api client is used by your users you can uh, add something like this uh, maybe add more details because they like details so enter that you push a button on your website and the script runs and it uploads uh, the videos linked from a post for example or something similar and uh, the video should be public does your api client use multiple projects no does your api client create access your use any metrics no does your api client display data or provide features across multiple platforms no do you create provide any type of reports no 
How long do you store YouTube API data less than 24 hours? How often do you refresh YouTube? Never. Does your API client allow users to authenticate? Yes. Have authenticated to your client and how authenticated data is used or by the client? Uh, I am the only user who can authenticate in the API client to upload videos to my YouTube channel. So it is important for them to see that you are the only one accessing and having access to this API client and uh, you should be the only one who uploads and you should keep these things uh, as simple as possible because if these are simple then they will actually approve it in a better rate okay now you should choose a file and upload something to for them to see what are you using so i will link also this and you should create a youtube.php file so let me create it right here so you can create a text file and write youtube.php instead and uh, copy this part so after the youtube.php copy the entire part this url will be also linked in this video's description so simply copy this and uh, edit it and paste it there okay now all you have to do is go to the audit choose file go to the folder and select the file you just created okay and uh, note that this the quota extension form is also required for you which api client are you requesting a quota increase for name of your api client now we can go to back to google cloud platform and uh, name of your api client is the api client that you are requesting so the api client is uh, this one which you entered here code revolution.row in my case but in your case this can be something different okay what api project number are you requesting increase quota form so we can go back here copy this paste the project number here data api how much additional uh, quota are you requesting public video upload access and i need a public video upload access to upload videos using the push of a button to my youtube channel so it is important that you say using the push of a button because like this they will see that things are not automated and uh, you go manually and uh, click on things to upload videos which is uh, also a plus and they will approve things faster like this how do you use youtube api services today i am not using them today no public upload access yet what functionality would your api client be lacking without more quota no public access rights what potential workaround would you use to compensate for less quota not applicable acknowledgements yes i agree i agree and click submit and you will get a response in about three to five working days this is how i got something uh, like this i got pardon, around three working days a response from them and i got approved so go ahead guys and uh, submit your forms because 
if you uh, do it right and uh, you keep it straight, simple and clear, then you will get public access rights for uploading public videos to YouTube using uh, the YouTube API and also YouTube Matic, which uses this used YouTube API and you will be able to upload public videos again as before 2020. So yeah, this is all for this video. I hope you will get this form approved and you will get more rights for your YouTube API. And thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.